let's talk some of my early thoughts on Aljo versus O'Malley. Even though I grew to appreciate Aljo and even become a fan, I feel like I always find myself saying, oh, this is the guy that's going to do it. He's going to beat Aljo. I did it with Jan. I did it with TJ. I did it with Henry. And as of right now, I'm doing it with O'Malley too. But by all means, if it isn't an easy fight for O'Malley, and on paper, probably one of the most favorable for Aljo. With O'Malley having that tall, upright stance, having just above average takedown defense, and seeing Jan being able to take him down numerous times, Aljo probably looks at that and is licking his chops. But with that said, both offensively and defensively, I think O'Malley has quite a few tricks up his sleeve for Aljo. Going up against a guy like Sterling, he does his best work early, but so does O'Malley. I believe Sean could do damage both on the front and back foot, but I think being on the front foot would be more beneficial for O'Malley so he can see the takedowns coming easier and being able to create more openings offensively, not having to worry about being backed up against the cage and having the takedown threat being that more dangerous on top of it. O'Malley does his absolute best work behind his feints, and I think that's key for him making Aljo react because he will bite hard and telegraph takedowns while dipping his head down, where that leads into one of my main points for O'Malley, and that's his shots up the middle. O'Malley has great selection of shots up the middle, like his step-in knee, the front ball kicks off either leg, that nasty rear uppercut, so I feel all these shots are going to be O'Malley's best tools against Aljo to deter the takedown and maybe even finish the fight. But with all that said, I think the safe money is with Aljo, but just going off the top of my head, I think there's a few good reasons to look O'Malley's way in this fight. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.